So as we've seen in prior segments, it's relatively straightforward to just place dimensional controls around the model. And if you want to modify one of those dimensions, you can simply double click and place in a new value. But another way to approach this is via use of the parameters manager. So I'm going to go ahead and scoot our model over a little bit to the side here, bring our parameters manager up and park that over here on the left hand side. And what we can see now is a display that relates these parameter values, in this case D1, defaulting to 48 feet. We now see that over here. Now what we can start doing is driving this model not by editing it out here in, in space, but by editing it in here in the parameters manager. So how about this? How about instead of having a particular width and height along this building, what if we interrelate the two? What if we say that this leg here should always be 90 feet less than this leg here? So the equation here is going to be D2 minus 90 feet. So all we have to do is come over here and find D1 and in the expression column we'll go ahead and say D2 minus 90 feet like so. And if we enter everything in correctly and we just click anywhere else it should accept that and we'll see the value that gets returned 50 feet which is what we expect. And if you notice the geometry really did adjust slightly down to accommodate that new value. Now this is not real friendly to look at seeing these equations all over your drawing so what we can look at is in here in your dimensional control we can look at our settings parameter look at the dimensional tabs here and we see the reason why we get this kind of nasty looking display here is because we're looking at the name and expression mode of display. What we could do is click this down and just say just name in which case we'd see D1 or just value in which case we'd see over here 50 feet. So let me go ahead and OK that and we'll see the change that's made. So in working with the parameters manager this is not real friendly because now we don't see which parameter associates to which one. So I'll go ahead and put that back so that we can look at name and expression. Now, what we can do here is we can see that we have four different circular columns, all of which have been dimensioned. So we see diameter one, two, three, and four. What we can do now is make all of these simply equal to this one over here. So let's just come in here for diameter two, and we will put in DIA one. And I'll go ahead and swipe over that so that I can copy it. That way I can just easily step down here and use paste controls so I don't have to work as hard. And we can see that all that evaluates out still being seven feet per each one. But now I can go here and simply edit that. Let's say something like uh, five feet. And we will see that change fed through the entire model. So these are straightforward examples, but it shows you that the parameters manager really can drive the geometry. All you have to do is get used to this idea of working with the parameter names and the expression column here in the parameters manager. Once you get used to it, it's pretty straightforward and very powerful. Let's go check it out.